Welcome Wizards to Unit 4 of Section 5 as we discuss the dignity of all persons. The concept of human dignity is crucial to all of mankind. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. All religions recognize human beings as fundamentally equal, whether this is understood as a consequence of their status as children of God. Respect for human dignity is, therefore, another fundamental principle of all religions. With that equality comes a belief that all humans deserve a basic level of respect and dignity, regardless of their background. Seen positively, the principle of equal dignity calls for respect for all human beings and even those with whom we most profoundly disagree or whose cultures or lifestyles seem most alien to us. Recognition of the equal worth of all is therefore essential to building a world community of wholeness and peace in this age of globalization. The most explicit affirmation of human dignity, karama, in Islam is found in the Quranic verse as explained, everyone and all members of the human race, including the pious and the sinner, are endowed with dignity, nobility, and honor which cannot be made exclusive to any particular group or class of people. This is self-evident in its recognition of inherent dignity for all human beings without qualification of any kind. God in Christianity creates humans in his image according to Genesis 1.26. Out of this stems the inviolability of human dignity. This applies to all people and is the basis for the equality of all people. Since all humans have the same dignity, it follows that the same rights and responsibilities apply to all people. Rabbi Akiva, a Jew, believed that it was the verse Leviticus 19.18, which quotes, You shall love your fellow as yourself, end of quote, that best shows human dignity in Judaism. Human dignity...